What's good, everybody? How you guys doing today? Back with another one. Hope you guys are doing good as always. You know, hope you guys are feeling blessed today. Hope you guys are remembering to keep that smile on your face, right? Yeah, man. Who? How's the new year's going so far? Is it good for you? Let me know in the comments down below. It's only been the first week. How's the first week of 2023 taking you? Let me know. Mine's pretty good. I'm feeling blessed. Thanks be to the Almighty God. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Um, that's a Hebrew name of God that I just recently learned. Yahweh, meaning God. Yahweh Shai, meaning Jesus. You know, who people call Jesus, right? Bahashim means coming in the name of. Or in the name of. So, uh, so all thanks to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. And uh, hope, hopefully you guys are doing good, man. Um, today I have another word for you guys. We're going to be talking about walking with Christ. Right? Walking with Christ. We know in this life, man, in this life people have different types of uh, doctrines, right? People have different types of beliefs. People um, have their own way of life, right? People have a choice to believe what is good to them and what is bad to them. What is wrong and what is right. I feel like these days there's no, there's no set standard of what is good and what is bad. You know, now the bad is good, the good is bad. But, you know, um, I want to talk about walking with Christ. And uh, walking with Christ... Um, if we're working with Christ, that means we're following his ways, right? We're following God's laws, right? And um, I believe that's the base standard of laws in this art that teaches us what is good and what is bad. And I feel like those are the best standards that we got to follow as humans, that we can follow as humans. Because uh, with with, with these are the standards that we make for ourselves. If you lean on your own understanding of how to do things, that's whether you have experience, you know, of a lifetime and you've seen how things work in this world and lean on your own understanding. That might work for a certain time. But all these other doctrines and all these other ways of living, they lead to death. Only go. I hit, damn, I hit my shoulders so. Hold on. Relax. <laughs> I had them so I had them I was like this felt like I was crunched up but um but following you know um this earthly ways of living following earthly ways of living those th those will lead you to a, to a death they're gonna lead you in a in a hole right because nowadays it's the blind in the blind man and uh the only lights that's going to lead you, I feel like, is, you know, God. There's a verse that says, you know, um, let me, let me, let me, let me find it when ready for you, man. I don't have it off head, but I gotta, I gotta find it. it talks about, you know, God being our light. And that's, uh, that's from the book of Psalms 119 and 104. And it reads, again, understanding from your precepts. Therefore, I hate every wrong path. There's a lot of wrong paths in this world nowadays. And this world is being led with, you know, wickedness right now. There's wicked people ruling the earth. And, uh, you know, a lot of people are following those wicked ways. But, you know, those lead you nowhere. They lead you to death. Let's keep on reading says i gain understanding from your precepts therefore i hate every wrong path your word is a lamp for my feet a light on my path psalms 119 104 moving with christ or uh, living with christ he's gonna lead your way you know no human knows how their tomorrow is gonna be like you cannot tell 
you cannot predict how you, your day tomorrow is gonna go or how you just your future is gonna be like you cannot you don't know if you're gonna even wake up tomorrow morning you're not sure of that you might have gone to bed all healthy you are full in your stomach you're full your bed is nice and well made just like my bed your room is nice and warm you go to sleep you might not wake up we don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow right but um you know living in faith in christ and following his ways i feel like that gives us assurance that you know whatever's gonna happen tomorrow whether good or bad we know that you know god is watching over us the angel is guiding us his angels are guiding us right uh, his spirit is guiding us and that's the comfort i believe that's the comfort that we get in following christ in his ways you know, we it just comforts you, right? So I'm gonna read a few more verses for you guys, all right? In Romans, this is a book from Romans eleven, chapter thirty three to thirty six, and it says Oh the depth of the riches of the wisdom of no and knowledge of God. Let me repeat. Oh, the depth of the riches of the wisdom and knowledge of God. How unsearchable his judgments and his paths beyond tracing out. You know, we cannot trust, we cannot trace God's, God's uh, ways and his paths that he has for us. We cannot trace them. In this world, there's so many things that go on that we cannot even, you know, trace it just shows how grand god is or this idea of god is right because i was also, i was also, i would also say that that's that's an idea right almost everything is an idea but we know it's a concrete idea it's a living idea right god is a living proof of you you being alive that's that's proof of god you know that the breath you take, that's a proof of God, right? The food that you eat, that's proof of God. Every single thing is proof of God, right? I really believe so. And it's it's the truth. It's not just my beliefs. It's the truth. Let me stop saying that I really believe so. It is the truth. So um, if we're following God's ways and we have his word and his word is where? This is where we get his word from, man, Right? It says all oh, the depth of the riches and the wisdom and knowledge of God. Where do we get the wisdom of God? Well, this is where we get the word of God. And by reading the word of God and following his ways, he gives us wisdom and knowledge. There's a Bible verse. Let's read from the book of Job 28 verse 28. And it says, And he said to the human race, The fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. You guys know that the um, verse that says, you know, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. In Job 28 verse 28, it says, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. And to and to shun evil is understanding, right? If we, if we follow his ways and fear his word, that's how we get wisdom. And if, by following his ways, you have no other choice but to shun evil. And by shunning evil, that is understanding. We gain understanding from that right so yeah guys that's all i wanted to come and you know talk to you guys about today you know there's a way of life that's the best than any other way of living there's a way of life there's a lifestyle that's really great better than any other type of lifestyle and that's the lifestyle of christ lifestyle of god living a life that glorifies god and living a life that you know just pleases god that is the best lifestyle that you can live here on earth right there's no other type of doctrine no other type of teaching that can be compared to god you can try and live a a scientific life you know based your understanding off of science that's not gonna help you with nothing that's only gonna lead i mean it is gonna help you you're going to move around, 
but that's gonna on a lead you, it's gonna lead you somewhere that you might not want to end up being in right but um le- leading a life that's holy and a life that pleases God he promises us eternal life and who doesn't want eternal life life after death because we know we, we're all bound to die you know uh, we all sinners and we know the wages of sin is death and ever since we were born you have sinned and you are bound to die why do you think god uh, why do you think jesus um why do you think jesus got raised from the dead because that man never sinned in his life he is a pure man even death could not hold him so he was killed but on the third day he rose so um yeah man leading a life in christ and following jesus that is the only type of lifestyle that can get your sins forgiven who else do you know or what 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 are the type of religion do you know that um you know that get gets your through your faith and your belief through your strong faith it gets your sins forgiven mm? what other let me know there's no other religion there's no other type of lifestyle that you know th- that you get your sins forgiven through your faith no other so um i would want to just say you know live a life that's pleasing to god follow his commands and you shall dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever amen amen Actually let's finish off with our prayer. That's the Lord's prayer. It goes like this. If you don't know the Lord's prayer, here we go. Our Father who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. May your kingdom come. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, may you please lead us not into temptations, but deliver us from evil. For thine is your kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. There's another one. I, I think that was the Lord's prayer. There's a surely. I don't know what the, what the name to this one is called actually. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Is that whole thing the Lord's prayer? I am not sure, but you know, we just prayed. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Hope you're good. Stay safe. Stay humbled. Stay blessed. And uh, if you got this far, I want you to comment this was below, and it's gonna let me know that you. You know, you got this far. Live a life in Christ. Living a life in Christ. No, scratch that. Comment this. I will live my life in Christ. I will live my life in Christ. Comment those words down below and I will catch you guys on the next video. Thank you. Peace and blessings and i'm out